All right, guys, this is going to be the official tutorial uh, on how to use the scouting tool. I'm going to take you through the process of getting a Madden generic draft class into the scouting tool. I'll also show you how to use the uh, generic draft class generator um, created by Lobs and Cursive um, and get that in there. And this will be it. It'll be set up. It'll be good to go. And this will probably be the only, only tutorial you'll need on how to use this tool. So first things first, let's go ahead and pop open Madden so we can go get a draft class. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to save your draft class just in case you don't know. Um, it's pretty basic, but, you know, just in case. Always takes a little bit to load this up. So basically the only difference between this one and the one I just released is you can use your Madden generic classes with it now. Um, if you don't want to use the tool that Lobs and Cursive created, um, which is fine. And I just added a couple more slight tweaks um, to how the, how the program runs. So it's all still pretty, pretty basic. Um, I happen to have a file saved right at the draft class load screen. So this should be quick and easy. Okay, so you're right here, you got your Scout College players, this is week three, you click on it, and then you wanna click left stick to edit your draft class. If you haven't already loaded a draft class, it'll ask you, do you wanna load a generic one? You just load a generic man draft class in. Um, you click left stick, you hit edit, and then you just hit B to get right out of it and you want to export local file. You're going to save it whatever you want. I'm going to save it as DC 11, just because. OK. Go ahead and get out of here, because we're done with this. All right. So next step is we're going to want to go into Madden AMP. This is what's going to get the CVS file that we want for this. So you need to have version 4.43, or yeah, 4.43, <clears throat> sorry, of this. Uh, anything under that will not work with Madden 20. Um, I don't actually know where there's a copy readily available. I can't even remember where I got this from, but if anybody needs it, you can send me a, a message and I'll, I'll get it to you. Um, anyway, so we're going to open this. Just close this part out right here. File open. You have to open a draft class. I mean, not a draft class, but a roster file. Otherwise, it won't work. So you can just pick whatever one you want. Uh, so I'll do the roster official. Once you do that, you go to tools, import, export CSV. It's going to bring up this. This is the thing you want to focus on right here. So you always click include field descriptions and you're going to load your draft class. The one we just did a second ago was this DC 11 right here. Double click on that. Now it's loaded into your editor here. You're into AMP. You're going to export to CSV. Name it whatever you want. Just remember what it is. Um, I'm going to do mine DC 11. Save. And I'm done. I can close this out. Okay. That's the file we need to make the scouting tool work. All right, once we're done with that, you can go to the scouting tool. Okay, so from here, anybody that watched the last video knew that this button didn't work. It does work now. So both of these are good to go. Just remember which one you click on. If you're clicking on the generic DC generator, that's a generic draft class generator that Lobs and Cursive made. That's those files you want to use. Madden generic draft class is the ones we're doing right now. Um, so from here, you're going to do the same thing you would do on, I did in the last one, I'll show you again though, but just to let everybody know, um, I've combined this sheet right here with our original sheet that was like basically just giving you all the letter grades without any margin of error. Um, if you want to still run it that way with no top positions, no worst positions, and 
an exact letter grade to hit that range with no margins of error or whatever. So you just want to sit there and say, you know what, Troy, forget it. Like, I don't want to use any of your, any of your stuff that you put into this. I just want a sheet that shows exactly the ratings for all the players. That's fine. All you have to do is make sure at the top right here, it says exact. This is top position. It basically says the titles for all this. This is exactly how you want it set, okay? If it's set like this and you load the file, everything you get will be an exact rating. You know, it's still in the percentage range, but you're not going to have any kind of margin of error or anything like that, which is what we kind of built in with um, the top positions and the worst positions and switching this to normal, okay? So I'm just going to show you how this works right now. This will give you the exact ratings um, or the, the exact letter grades. Click on Mad Mad Generic. We're going to go and find that file that we just saved, which was DC11. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Loads it up. You're good to go. So this doesn't have any kind of, of margin of error or anything on it. This is the exact letter grades um for the players okay so if he's an a plus he's going to be an a plus if he's a c he's going to be a c if he's a b plus he's going to be a b plus again these are all percentages uh, or the letter grades are based off percentages uh so they are in ranges but it's a percentage range so it's not like a static range where like you know 80 to 85 is this and 85 to 90 is that you know it's not like that it's based off a of percentage but they're going to be pretty pretty accurate which means that if you got a guy that has a bunch of a's across the board he's going to be a damn good player um, so that's how it's set. That's how you do the, the Madden one. Um, and then if you wanted to, like I said, do it the, the way it's built to actually, in my, my, my words, have a little more fun with it or a little more challenge to it. Um, you're going to set this to normal. This always has to be set to normal. Okay. Um, otherwise it's going to mess things up. And then you take your top position say, I want wide receiver and offense tackle and then my worst position is go d end and middle linebacker okay same thing we run the tool madden generic we're going to open that same file that we just did and now you have your margin of error so any any everybody or any wide receiver or offense tackle in this is scouted as hard as you can like basically right there you're going to get get a, a pretty exact uh, range for your for your letter grade. These two positions, the worst ones, um, you're not going to get, it's going to be very, very, it, it could be okay, but it could be off. I mean, it's it's just a wide margin of error, okay? You're going to have um, anywhere from a negative six to a six point, um, or uh, negative six to six points added to the actual attribute so it can it can make a pretty pretty big range um these have zero margin of error okay so you have no range and everything in the normal which is all other positions that you didn't select right here is a negative three to three okay so makes it a little bit tougher okay you know your two positions you you selected right here are going to be pretty pretty exact these ones are going to be pretty bad and everything else is going to be kind of right in the middle so you're not going to exactly know what's going on um as far as that's concerned um for those that haven't looked at my other videos drafted you click on that oh sorry i put validation restrictions on this so you don't want to have capitalization um so small x crosses things out if you try to put anything else in there it's going to tell you hey you screwed up don't do that so make sure you just put x's in same thing with this um this is x is two so don't put in a different letter okay um, this is how you can go through and mark guys off as you are doing your draft. Uh, for those that watched the last video, this is the draft board that I added just recently. Uh, if you want to add somebody to your draft board, you just put an X in their column. Once you're done going through all the players that you want to add to your draft board, you're going to go over to the fog of war draft board tab, and then you're going to click populate draft board and it will populate all players that you selected. So that'll be your specific draft board. And then same thing as before. Um, you can put X's here and it'll cross things out. So that's how that's done. Um, that's the Madden generic class. So you saw how to go into Madden, get your class, and then come back out of Madden and plug it into this and boom, you're good to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this. And we're going to close this. 
Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it with the draft class creator. Now I don't got the most up to date one, um, but it's going to be the same same method. So you're going to open this up. Don't have any other Excel files open at the same time. Let's just do this one because this is a big file, a lot of formulas, a lot of stuff going on. You don't want to have a bunch of stuff open at the same time. Um, you definitely don't want to have Madden open at the same time either because that takes a lot of processing power. And this thing actually, I know it's an Excel file, but it takes a lot of processing uh, power too. So anyways, we're going to go in here and you're going to go to data, or I'm sorry, formulas. Um, our calculation options should be set to manual, which is good. Otherwise, things would be doing some screwy stuff. So here's all your tables. You are only worried about the output table. Okay, this is where the, the file that you want is going to be. Okay, so from here, you're going to click calculate now. Now, if you look down here, it's running. It's 11%. I have a pretty powerful PC, um, but this thing will still take close to a minute to run through all the formulas. Um, I suggest just kicking back, doing nothing, don't click on stuff, don't do anything while it's running because Excel sometimes, especially when it's a lot of complicated things going on, can tend to have artifacts, have errors, um, and some of, the, some of the cells. So it's better just to sit there and wait patiently while it gets done. Um, that way there's much, much less chance of errors. Doesn't mean an error won't happen, but chances are you should be good to go after this. It always goes a nice little clip, then it gets to 50%, kind of hangs for a while, gets to 70, the 70s, hangs a little bit, and then it'll It'll eventually finish up. There we go. If you guys just saw everything kind of refreshed. Now, this is the way they ask you to do it. I did it a different way. I'm going to try to do it their way right now. Uh, so if you go File, Save As, I'm sorry. Yes, File, Save As, and you want to save as a CSV file, which is this one right here. Okay, click on that. Um, name it whatever you want. So I'm going to go test file two. And then if you click save, it'll pop up and say the selected file does not support workbooks, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. Just say okay. Well, that did not work the way I thought it was going to work at all. Hmm. All right, so basically I confused myself just now. Um, I actually did do it the right way, but I wasn't reading it right. So we're going to try this one more time. So once you're into the draft class creator, go ahead and go to formulas, and we're going to calculate now. Okay, it's going to run through the whole thing again. Like I said, here's the stuff down here. So we're going to have a little pause again. Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long. So, sorry about that. This time I'm going to do it the way I know it works. Um, I believe it'll work the way I just showed you, but I don't know. I just didn't like, I'm just going to do, do it the way I know exactly it works. So. Okay, so we're done. Everything's good. Jacob Todd, new player, everything just refreshed. Um, the way I do it is I right click right here. I say move for copy. I want to create a copy to a new book. And then I say, okay. From there, there's my new book. I'm going to close this out. I am not going to save it because I don't need to. We're going to go back to my book I just created. Now I'm going to file and I'm going to save this as what we saw earlier csv file right there um book one works that's fine or book one do i have a book one already i don't so book one is going to be what i call it 
save it. We're good. Okay, I can close that out. I'm done with it. Everything's fine. Um, from there, I need to go back. I need to go back into my scouting tool. We're going to open this up. And we're going to click on generic draft class generator because that's the file we're using. Um, as you noticed right there, I just left the stuff the same at the top, but everything everything with this stuff works exactly the same as it did with the other one I just showed you. So we're going to go down here to book one, click on it. There you go. There's the Jacob Todd was that guy we just saw, remember? Um, so there's... There's that information. Everything else here works the same. Um, cross guys out, goes away. Add guys here. Go over to your Fog of War board. Populate. Puts the new guys in there. Um, just in case, occasionally, I've noticed it happened one time, and I have no idea why. Um, things like the, the letter grades kind of started over here on some of the rows. I don't know why or what happened exactly. Um, but once I hit populate again, everything worked out right. So if you ever see something that kind of doesn't work out right, you can try again and, and see what happens there. Um, but anyways, there's that. And now you got the generic draft class from the generator, um, and it's all the same. But it's using those specific ratings as opposed to the the regular Madden ones. They're just they're just a little bit different. Some of the highs um, are a little off, things like that. So I just wanted the letter grades to make a little bit more sense, but. All things considered, especially if you end up using my progression regression tool, it really doesn't matter which one you use. It's all going to work out well. Um, the draft class generator tends to have slightly higher um, top class guys, but man, it really dips at the bottom like some low, low rated guys. Um, Madden is a little more, a little more balanced, I guess you could say. Um, not quite as high in the top end, but there's more middle ground until you get to the bottom end. So either way, they both work. Um, Personally, I'm going to use the generic one just because I like some of the other stuff they added to it too. Um, and then the ability to have some kind of like free, free players at certain positions is kind of cool too. So anyways, uh, that's, that's how it works. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to add, but hopefully this, this makes scouting a little more fun, a little more exciting uh, for you um, instead of the way Madden does it. I've never really liked it. it seemed more like a chore than anything else. Uh, this seems more like, you know, you can really kind of get into what players um, can do um, with all their ratings being available to you and just having more info and making a more of an educated guess on on certain things and also be able to, being able to find guys that, you know, might fit a certain niche for your team. Um, but, yeah, I just think this is more fun. And I enjoy making tools like this, as you guys can tell. But, uh, but yeah, so pretty sure for the scouting tool as of right now, I'm good with it. I'm totally good with it. I really got to stop making so much stuff because I never actually play the damn game, which is kind of sad. Um, but I'm done with this and I have a few bug fixes. I need to do with the progression tool. None of it is, is big. You can continue to use it the way it is now and still be fine. Um, just a few, few tweaks that, uh, that I need to, that I need to fix it have been brought up to my attention. Um, but yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy this and, uh, and, and it elevates your game a little bit more. All right. I'm good. Bye guys.